In the 1920s, women participated in many sports, including field hockey, swimming, soccer, tennis, track and field, basketball, golf, piloting, fencing, and many more. Females were the first to achieve full Olympic status in swimming. A woman named Athelda was the first to win three gold medals for 100 meter, 300 meter freestyle, and 100 meter freestyle relay. Typical swimwear for women was a one-piece that was fairly form-fitting, with arms exposed and mid-thigh length. Up to the 1920s, women were not allowed to participate in track and field due to fear of damage to their organs. When they were finally accepted into the sport, they proved to be successful. At the 1928 Olympics, Myrtle Cook, Jane Bell, Bobby Rosenfeld, and Ethel Smith won gold for women's relay and Ethel Catherwood won gold for women's high jump. In 1922, a women's high school basketball team was invited to London to play against them. Only six of these high school students could make it to play against the London champions. They lost the first game but won 41-8 in the second. This made the Edmonton grads popular. They then went on to compete with world champions and they continued to win. During the next 17 years, the grads played in the Underwood series, winning 114 out of 120 games. The Edmonton grads were considered the greatest team that ever stepped out on a basketball floor. Ada McKenzie was a famous golfer throughout her lifetime. She won the Canadian Women's Open and won the Ontario Open in a total of 11 times. Ada McKenzie was then put into the Canadian Sports Hall of Fame. Hockey peaked for women in the 1920s and 30s. Teams, leagues, and tournaments were introduced in almost every region of Canada. The Preston Rivulets from Ontario became the first dynasty of women's hockey.